Dun, dun, dun. Oh well, anyways, uh, my point is, the uh, reason why I'm doing this close-up video here, I don't want to show my face here too often, but this is how I can get a shot of my TV without too many scan lines, because I got the Glico on here, and you got a very cool game called Jeepers Creepers. You probably never heard of it, because it wasn't an uh, official release for a system. Yeah, this is a cool homebrew title, yeah. And you gotta support these guys, because these guys are awesome. Look at all the cool homebrew games I got for the ColecoVision. Ones here like Magical Tree, Batman Collection, the awesome Ghost Blaster, yep, YouTube the video game, and Squares. And yeah, the reason why I'm talking about Deeper Creepers here is because I got a very cool surprise in the mail the other day. Yep. New Coleco here, guy who created Jeepers Creepers here behind me actually sent me this birthday card. Yeah. And I already bought the game off of him. I bought the PC B board. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I put it on the old Donkey Kong cartridge that I wasn't using. <laughs> and yeah, I was able to pop this game in and it worked no problem. Problem is, I didn't have a label for it. But uh, in the card, he gave me one of these. So now I got a label for my game here. Alright, you got two difficulties here. Normal and Arcade. Yeah, it's a cool 2D shoot'em up. Kind of like Space Invaders and uh, Glatzian where you're moving left and right. <laughs> and you kill anything with that moves, except that you got this cool horror theme. Yep, I think you're a farmer dude, your girlfriend has been kidnapped by some evil green phantom. And you got Saber. Yeah, if you're using the old Coleco television, <laughs> or not television, the telephone-like controller, it does get hard on the hands after a while. You can easily use the Genesis or Master System controller, and you can also hold down the button as well, which is very useful. <laughs> and one hit won't, you know, kill you instantly. You got 50 plus units of health up there. Oh no. <laughs> and multiple stages. Which is great because, you know, getting these enemies all the time isn't so easy. These ghosts here are very annoying. They disappear, but they're not dead yet. <laughs> you can see their shadows, but you gotta kill them before they respawn them or you lose health. Uh oh, that's gonna get slightly faster. <laughs> ah. And of course you can shoot that blue thing up there to get more health. Oh crap. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's intense, it's fast. It's a pretty low memory game, I would assume. But still, it's fun for what it is. Not as complex as, you know, like the Ghostbuster game that I did like a few years after this, but I think he was still experimenting with what the ColecoVision could do sort of thing. Yeah, I think this game came out in 2007. You know, it's colorful, it's good animation, lots of interesting characters to shoot at. Yeah, and the right amount of challenge too. You know, you got a lot of health and all that, but <laughs> you're gonna need a lot of health in that at later levels. Oh crap. <laughs> in fact, we got a lot of enemies here too. <laughs> yeah, just like Space Invaders, you get that uh, eerie music that constantly gets faster, the more enemies start to get more aggressive. Yeah. Oh, no, the goals are back. <laughs> In the fourth stage, it's easier to see their shadows because it's behind the castle wall. <laughs> yeah, and this game has an ending too. You finish it. And yeah, there's a special thank you and credits at the end as well. Which is all good. Yeah, I won't say that the game is perfect. Like, <laughs> playing this on the original ColecoVision controller, oh, it definitely hurts. But it's still fun. Good arcade action. So I give Jeepers Creepers here a 70 out of 100. Still a lot of fun. Oh, oh, oh. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a main evil dude. I don't know what he's shooting at me, but yeah. And here's the final stage. 
And definitely the hardest one, too. Finish it, and you save the girl. Yeah, I got mine pretty cheap, too. Just ask them, you know, what the price is, or if he sells, sells them or not, or where now you can download it. I don't know. But, yeah, it's a good game to have. Alright, this Star Soldier, over and up. Okay, now I'll stop talking. <laughs> okay.